three changes overall, as you said, Shakiris in there, Minsa getting back into that uh, part of the lineup, and Cade Cowell on that left side. Josh, we've actually just one change in the starting lineup, but a big omission, no Danny Pereira in the starting 11. It's been tantalizingly within touching distance. Well, tonight, it is there for the taking. Win and they're in, it's that simple. As uh, Austin in the, uh, the green Sentimiento kit get us underway. Combination of passes here by the visitors. Gallagher on the left hand side, swinging it in! It's, it was a glancing header from Rigoni. It's not really his game to play the centre forward role, he's been asked to do it. That last man just kind of hanging out right behind Nick Lima. Spinoza curling it in well, Vicer and down, Mensa really caught hold of it and then Stuber had to uh, smother Jackson Ewell's effort on the follow-up. What a start, Kobe for them, Emma Tumasi doubling their advantage. Yeah, and this seems to put Dallas in a pretty comfortable position with the 2-0 lead early on. And it's 1-0 San Jose right on cue. And it's Christian Espinoza. He'd been fully two months without a goal. He picked the right night to end that mini drought. Actually have a Bobasi challenging to pick up and intercept the ball and then just a, a brilliant strike getting over the ball, driving it home. And look at this, it's Austin tries to build out of the back. Bobasi does some of that hard work to win the win that ball back and just a clean strike, a, a fantastic finish. Now putting San Jose in a nice position here, a little bit of a buffer. Here's Jackson Yule. Now, loose touch from Shakiris, and then he compounded the error going in on uh, Owen Wolf. Oh, that's a beauty. That that's that is typical Johnny Russell play right there. Just pulling it in, getting it on that left foot, striking it into the far post. And now a glancing oh. header. Oh, oh, and Austin a level. It's Owen Wolf with just his second goal of the season. Beautiful header from the 18-year-old, curling into the top corner. Uh, this is just brilliant movement. The ball goes out wide. Look at this cross, Lima, and it's just, it's just running into that near post. No one gets close to Owen Wolf. And all he does is just have to redirect this one just a little bit, the glancing header into the far post upper V. And this game is tied. The goals all around this league right now, fast and furious, but that has to be one of the better ones from Owen Wolf. What a header. Great cross from Lima, wasn't it? Provided the uh, the pace that Wolf needed. That's a quick player down, I think it's Espinosa on the receiving end. Something from Valencia there now. Trauco winding it up. And a devilish hit from the Peruvian fullback, Miguel Trauco. Maybe time for one last attack for San Jose, but uh, that very quickly melted away. And we head in with uh, honors even Kobe. And uh, I think that the scoreline reflects what we've seen out on the field for the first 45. 45 minutes away from a date in the playoffs. Can they find the performance that will put them there without needing any help from anyone else? This was great news for them. It's good news for the Earthquakes as well. And that's Kate Cow. Latches onto this, Cal back against the grain. There was an alley that opened up for the shot. And the end, he pulled it just wide. Espinoza to the byline, cutting it back. Oh, with Bobasi. Great save, Stuva. Pure reflexes from Stuva to deny Bobasi, who was on the turn. There would be nothing he could have done about it. If you're a Bobasi here, you're just saying, how did he save this one? It's a great connection right at the penalty spot, but Stuver does enough there, and it is pure reaction. Montero just covers so much ground on the offensive side, defensively as well, but just the, his movement to try to receive the ball. Now 
Espinosa has peeled away, volleys it in, and then Balbasi off the post. It looks easier to score, but Balbasi, from about six yards, managed to rattle the woodwork. Now this will give us a good look at that little misclearance right to Bobasi and oh, has the whole goal and it goes off of the far post and then bounces right back out. Well, the pressure almost unyielding at the moment. Capo trying to get around the back. Valencia fouled him. And the referee quickly reaching for the yellow card for the Colombian. Can't have too many complaints. The change of approach, looking for... Better angle, Montero's cross, the header. Decent one from Rodriguez, but Stuva held his ground and was able to see it clearly. Montero making himself available, slipping it through for Hoppy. Hoppy back against the grain and through the legs of Cascande and wide of Stuva's right hand post. It still will not happen for the earthquakes. Espinosa. Up go the heads, oh, Stuva with the save! Denying Jonathan Mensa. Extended the agony for the earthquakes here. Jonathan Mensa, I'm sure, thought he'd scored. Oh, yes, what a reaction save there, getting that left paw out. He just backs up right to the line and does just enough to keep the ball out of the back of the net, parries it away. And now it's just up to... Uh, Rosendo Mendoza and how much extra time is added on. None as it turns out, but this 1-1 draw is enough for the Earthquakes to make the MLS playoffs for just the third time in the last 11 seasons. 1-1.